The Manitoba Museum just opened a new gallery for patrons to explore focused on the history and landscape of our province. I'm here at the Manitoba Museum to give you a preview of the new Prairies Gallery. This is our new Prairies Gallery and it's something we've been working on for a number of years, especially the last couple. And it really carries on with the main themes of uh, the Manitoba Museum, which are a combination of human and natural history, that people and our environment have been interlocked forever, and we still are. It really brings uh, a new experience for our visitors. That's what we really wanted, with updated in and accurate information. Uh, not only about our environment, but about the people that have lived here and continue to live here now. Um, we have new, fresh artifacts and, and specimens on exhibit for people to see that they've never seen before. So you will uh, experience something new when you come here. We've been slowly sort of uh, replacing case by case exhibits and I think this was an opportunity to take an entire space and make it something new. We've really focused on uh, bringing the Indigenous story that it's not just Indigenous people from the past, that they are very much contemporary. Um, that we were able to touch on issues like climate change. Uh, we don't really talk about those in other galleries and so it was able to sort of touch on some of these uh, current issues that are, are there. As uh, visitors come to the Manitoba Museum, one of the things they're going to be first greeted uh, with as they sort of enter into the Grasslands and Prairies Gallery is this mural uh, by Dee Barzi. And she's this young uh, Indigenous uh, artist. What it does is it represents a number of the sort of like fragile and endangered species that we see uh, in the grasslands and the prairies area. And so whether it's the sort of ferruginous hawk, the northern prairie skink, uh, the western skipperling all have this sort of ecological story to, to be told. And I, I look at this as all of the lines and her geometric patterns that she has are all interconnected just as the, the people and the animals are interconnected on the, this space. Two main things, I really want people to see the prairies as a diverse landscape, not only of the environment, but also of people. Um, people from all different backgrounds have lived and continue to live on the prairies and have made it work in one way or another. But also, you know, the diversity of our uh, ecology here today is so different than it was even 200 years ago. Uh, it has changed completely and that's something we really want to get across to visitors as well because as we move forward in our society with issues like climate change and animal extinction, uh, these are things we should know about, is what was here before, what's here now, why did it change, uh, and what can we do in the future. Winnipeg is very much a prairies town, and so one of the things we want to show is what Winnipeg would have looked like in the past. And we have here a mini diorama which shows Winnipeg as it would have looked in 1870. And what you'll see here is a view of Winnipeg from the east side of the Red River looking over towards the west, and what you see is where our downtown buildings are now, our skyscrapers. One thing about the new uh, renewed gallery is that there really is something for everyone. If you like bugs, we've got cases on that. If you like rocks and geology, we've got pieces on that. If you like beadwork and indigenous stuff, like so like there is really something for, for everyone. When we get on the far side, there's like uh, a toy train and there's stuff for kids to interact with. And so I really think that, you know, we've, we've given the, uh, uh, a whole area for people to explore that is something that, uh, you know, you could spend your entire visit just in this single gallery and still not get through it. Come down and check it out when you can. Um, take time and do multiple visits. You know, it's a big gallery with lots of themes and uh, maybe one, one visit you explore one part of the gallery more in depth than another, but it's definitely worth multiple visits.